everybody, in this video, I will show you how you can handle blur effects in iOS. In iOS, the blur effect is used often. For example, you see uh, in this uh, little uh, device uh, in my slide that here, when uh, I have something that appears, here is the control panel, to have the control panels easier to look at, then you have a background that is just a blur of what's behind. So these views allows you to, to eliminate more or less the background, but you still see a bit how uh, it looks behind, okay? Uh, you see here uh, the colors, etc. And when you have this uh, view that slides in the uh, website, then you see that it slides. So this is called the blur effect and it's quite often used in iOS. And there are various types of blur. You have light, extra light, and dark. And sometimes it's very nice to use these effects. And it relies on UI visual effect views that is a specialization of a regular view. So how does it work? It's quite simple. First you build a UI visual effect view and you associate to it the desired effect. You have UI blur effect and UI vibrancy effect and I will show you later on what is the UI vibrancy effect. And then you add the view in front of the view you want to blur. Okay, sometimes you can have it always in front of the view you want to blur and you can use the hidden property just setting to true so it's hidden and when you want it to appear then you set it to false. Otherwise you can have some movements, dynamics, stuff, etc, etc. So let's have a look on how uh, it looks like on a screen. So here I have my image and if I tap on the button I have the three types of blur. On the top of the screen you have an extra light blur, on the middle you have a light blur and on the bottom you have a dark blur. Okay and in fact as you see uh, if you remember how iOS works you already met such blurs in some situation with the default user interface. Let's have a look on how you program a blur effect. I don't provide you here all the code because now you are able to draw views etc etc. I just provide you the part of code that is necessary for it. So here there is a UI label, a UI button and the important things are these three variables that are UI visual effect views. Okay and here uh, I have the init function okay and you see that uh, uh, I create these uh, objects so I instantiate UI visual effect views uh, with three different parameters the blur, the light blur and the dark blur okay so I associate this uh, effect and these effects they have been programmed here okay and then as you show in the demo you have the three types of blur that so that you can make the difference and decide which one you will use. And then I set hidden to true for all these views. Okay and then uh, the rest is traditional I don't mention it. So this is the action associated to uh, the uh, button uh, that just implement a switch the blur appears the blur disappears and that's all just to show you that I did program the application of the demo. So I leave you as an exercise how to translate it in Objective-C. You see it's uh, not very complicated. And uh, just a word about vibrancy effect. So the idea is to adjust text and images. So here I have my blur effect without vibrancy with some uh, white text in it. And here I have some vibrancy. Okay so you see that in the first part uh, you don't have uh, the um, transparency that applies to uh, the colors and here you have it that applies a little bit on the colors, so you can like it and you can decide to use it. 
Okay? This is a dedicated effect and this is a way to parameter your effect in the view as I told you. So as a conclusion, you know how to blur views and you have it for almost free so you should use it and in fact it's part of the graphical chart since iOS 7 and of course be careful and use it appropriately. Thank you for your attention, see you later.